How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And here's a quick video on how you can potentially fix the high ping and packet data loss uh, that you may be experiencing in Dota 2. Now, um, I'll go ahead and just give you guys a few suggestions. And if that doesn't work, I'll move on to uh, another fix, which I'll talk about in just a few moments. So first of all, try restarting your router and modem because restarting your router and modem can sometimes resolve connectivity issues. And to do this, just turn off your router, wait a few minutes, and then turn it back on. Also check for updates and make sure that you have the latest updates for Dota 2 and your operating system. Also make sure that your uh, graphic card is updated. So check your uh, NVIDIA or if you have a uh, Radeon a GPU, just make sure that your GPU is up to date. Also try changing your Dota 2 settings uh, this may reduce lag and improve your uh, connections. Also try to change some of your Dota 2 settings, uh, such as the graphic settings, and try to lower your graphic settings, which can help reduce the strain on your network connection and improve your ping. Also turn off VSync, as VSync synchronizes your frame rate with your refresh rate, which can cause latency. Uh, so turning off VSync can help reduce lag. And turn off the reduce input lag option, because this option can cause latency if it's on. So turning it off can help improve your connection. Also check your internet connection, make sure your internet connection is stable and fast enough to support online gaming in the first place. You can check your internet speed by running a speed test. And if your internet connection is slow or unstable, you may need to upgrade your internet plan or contact your ISP for assistance. Also make sure you're using a wired connection instead of a wireless connection, which will surely improve your ping and reduce packet loss. Also check for interference. If you're using a wireless connection, make sure that there are no sources interfering with your connection, such as other devices or appliances that could be affecting your connection. And if you have any Chrome tabs that are open, just go ahead and close these and you should be good to go. Now, the final tip for the day is if you're still experiencing uh, lag issues and packet loss issues, or if your connection has particularly high ping, maybe your ISP servers are just not the best for gaming, what you can do is connect to a VPN server and use their servers to game on. Though you'll need to connect to the VPN server that is closest to the game server to reduce ping. So yeah, a gaming VPN can help reduce ping and improve your connection by routing your internet traffic through a dedicated server optimized for gaming. And you also want to make sure that in your Steam settings, you go to the settings, uh, go to the download and make sure that your download region is matching your VPN region. So uh, just double check with that. And again, make sure that your VPN server is as close as possible to the gaming server so that you can kind of reduce the distance between your VPN server and gaming server, making sure that you get the best ping possible. If you're not sure which VPN to get, I went ahead and linked the three best VPNs in the description down below. That'll be Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these VPNs and your own preferences, specific needs and budget, of course. But overall, they work remarkably well with uh, gaming and maintaining low ping. Just again, I have to reiterate this. Make sure that you're using the uh, VPN server that is closest to your game server and the best performing protocol. So that'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN. And then with NordVPN, if you're using NordVPN, that'll be the NordLynx protocol. And finally, with uh, Surfshark, that'll be the WireGuard protocol. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, or if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them, you'll find the full reviews and links to pricing and discounts if you want to jump straight to that, all in the description down below. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with any of these, you can just get yourself a refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything. VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.